The country's morgue stretched beyond capacity, with officials there doing the best they can to get the deceased processed to make room for even more. Cleopatra Murphy gets the details from those who do the job many would not be able to stomach. Our capacity was around about 76. Uh, we have actually not seen that number in several years. It's overrun with no end in sight. In fact, the last time officials saw those numbers predates the COVID-19 pandemic and even 2019's Hurricane Dorian. The National Morgue started the year with 295 bodies and up to Friday, 235 were stored in four refrigerated units inside and four in supplemental coolers on the outside. While murder victims account for a small percentage of the more than 1,000 bodies that end up on their tables annually, consultant pathologist and forensic pathologist at PMH, Dr. Karen Sands, says it has an impact. It takes a lot of time. Um, there's preparation for court and then there's the time on the stand. Um, obviously the homicides, when we get to, when we get to have to go um, have to go to Supreme Court, that is the other uh, burden. Um, obviously it's something that you want to do because you want to speak for the person who can't speak for themselves. The two pathologists and team of 11 are constantly busy handling bodies from all islands but Grand Bahama, at times even tourists who may have died on their stay. Consultant pathologist Dr. Kiko Bridgewater believes the service they provide is invaluable. We're like detectives. Um, we get to you know, examine people, try and figure out uh, what uh, the physicians, surgeons weren't able to figure out while they were alive and help to bring closure to the families especially. They need to know why this person would have died and you know what could have been done, etc. While the ins and outs of the job may be taxing, Superintendent of Mortuary Services Krista Burrows enjoys what she does. You know that you are bringing comfort to persons who have loved ones that are lost and trying to help the process um, and seeing how quickly we can get through them so that they can actually lay their loved ones to rest is brings comfort. Considering the important role the team at the morgue plays, PMH Administrator Mary Lightborn Walker is advocating for a workplace that reflects it. We've outgrown this and uh, every day it's a fight for the persons who work here. So if there's anything that we can do, I would say just try to get back on track to the plan that we did have, where we had that national mark with the forensic capability. And we would be able to deal with the growing demands of this community, the Bahamas, which is growing. And the, the, so it will then be able to meet not only our demands as a population, but the tourists will come here as well. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. Hello, everyone. I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.